New at noon, big news for Boeing and big news for the city of Everett. Boeing is launching the freighter version of the new 777X and just signed a deal with Cutter Airways for up to 50 of those jets. Our aviation specialist Glenn Farley joining us live in Everett right now. Glenn, historically speaking, how big a deal is this? Uh, you know, this is really huge, uh, Steve. This is $34 billion. That not only includes uh, 50 777X8 freighters, but also includes a memorandum of understanding for 50 737 MAX 10s, which of course are built down in Renton. Both of these airplanes, uh, really the majority of the structure of those airplanes are built right here in the Northwest. Let me show you some pictures of what I'm talking about. It's been almost two years ago to the day when the first 777X flew out of Everett um, as part of its uh, development program. Now it is running behind schedule. The first one for the airlines will not be ready to be delivered until 2023. These freighters will not be delivered until 2027, but already this will mean more employment, at least on the engineering front at first, to be able to do the rest of the design work for the freighter. I spoke with the head of Boeing Commercial Airplanes, Stan Deal, who is at the White House for a signing ceremony this morning. Very happy. I mean, it's a, a terrific day for the Boeing employees and a big shout out to Cutter Airways, who most people know Cutter as a world-class passenger airline, but they've also, over their 25 years, built one of the largest international freight operations. Now, the 777X is a huge, huge airplane, and when it was developed, the expectation was that the 747, which was the whole reason that this factory was originally built and started back in the 60s, uh, is going to go away. The last of those airplanes is expected to be delivered in October, uh, but the 777X freighter uh, is not a surprise in terms of where it's going. Uh, also with the drive on more sustainability and better fuel economy is really kind of where they're expecting the airlines are going to keep driving the manufacturers uh, toward. And Live in Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. Before we let you go, Glenn, Boeing, we know their stock tanked in March 2020. Uh, it started to come back a little bit. How is the pandemic changing business for Boeing? Well, the pandemic has been highly destructive to Boeing's balance sheet and uh, everything else. The, the 787 Dreamliner that was built both here and in South Carolina is now all of them will be built or are being built in South Carolina right now as a result of the pandemic. But the 777X is in many ways the future here, and the fact that they are getting big orders for that going forward is obviously a positive sign. Yeah, Boeing stock up 4% today. Glenn Farley reporting live from Everett.